Hey guys, what's up? We're live. I'm here live with Pauline Prince. And Pauline and I just came off the a speaker panel with uh, Nicole Whitlock and Sean Mayo over on the uh, Ecom Q4 Summit. If you haven't bought your ticket to that, you click in the link below and you should do that immediately. The reason you should do that immediately, number one is it's free. And number two, uh, there's an all access pass that gives you $20,000 worth of bonuses and it costs less than 150 US dollars to do that. So it's like a really good deal. Yeah. Get your ticket for free, meaning you don't have to pay anything. You get a free access ticket to the Ecom Q4 uh, Seller Summit. So without further ado, Pauline, not everybody knows who you are. Not everybody knows who I am. I'm gonna give a brief uh, hello. And then, hello, uh, I'm going to give you the whole screen to talk about yourself. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take the opportunity to share this out to a couple Facebook groups. Uh, one Facebook group is called uh, Merch by Amazon Top Sellers for Newbies and Pros. There's about 20,000 members there. It's a closed group. Most of them sell uh, print on demand. And then another group is a little bit smaller, but still fairly large, almost 15,000 members. And that is uh, Amazon, what's well, so it's called FBA Top Sellers for Amazon Newbies and Pros. So those are the two places I'm gonna go share this to. While I'm sharing this, I'm gonna give you the whole screen. All right. And I want you to give yourself an introduction because I gave people an introduction sometimes and it is too detailed. People are like, Jacob, we know more about this person than they, even they think they know about themselves. So let's just, <laughs> Let the let the guests do the introduction, okay? So, all right, does that sound fair, Pauline? It sounds fair. All right, so here you go. Ready? Um, I'll I'll still be here on audio, so I can still hear Great. you. But uh, guys, here's Pauline Prince from Toronto, Canada, <laughs> to tell you about herself. <laughs> Now's so your chance. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Pauline Prince, and I'm uh, Canadian by birth, and um, live in this lovely country. You didn't. You didn't buy into it. <laughs> no, I didn't kidding. buy. You were born in Canada. You I were born didn't in Canada. have to like bribe anyone, right? My my parents <laughs> immigrated to Canada from the Caribbean, from Jamaica specifically, and uh, I was in my uh, family tree, the first uh, one born here in Canada, and um, I have had a tremendous uh, corporate career. After uh, graduating from the University of Toronto, I spent 21 years in corporate Canada and corporate America. I lived and worked in the U.S. for uh, many years, much longer than I thought I would. And then I returned to Canada in 2016. Um, and while I was in the U.S., I learned about this very interesting marketplace called Amazon. And I started my Amazon uh, business back in early 2014 on Amazon US. And then I expanded into Amazon Canada in 2016 and uh, Europe the following year, the European countries. And I do have an Amazon Australia account as well. I just have never really used it. Um, I really believe in um, e -com, But then beyond that, I believe in expand, expanding internationally. So you may start your e-com journey in one specific market um, or on one particular platform. But I really believe that we need to leverage the as much of the scope of our opportunity as we can. So that means you may start off cutting your teeth using Amazon or eBay, um, but it's a very good idea to also be looking at um, you know, if I develop my own products, I'm also having a Shopify store. Um, I may be offering those same products in multiple marketplaces and then multiple countries. So one of the most interesting things that happened in, in my life is that when I returned to Canada and uh, left my corporate career, I was in full time in business for myself. Returning to Canada, I realized there wasn't much support for e-commerce businesses here in terms of prep, fulfillment, logistical support for navigating import, export, 
all of that good stuff that's so important to not only operating in, the, in a specific country, this being Canada, but also if you wanted to source products from outside Canada to be brought to Canada to be sold, or if you wanted to source from sources here in Canada to sell elsewhere in the world, there wasn't any one solution provider that was providing support for all of that. So whether you're doing prep that's going to Amazon or you're doing direct to customer or uh, business to business um, fulfillment. So if you essentially need somebody that's going to distribute your products to retailers here in Canada, where do you go? What do you do? And so I would go to Canada Prep and Fulfillment. <laughs> so yeah, okay. that's why I founded Canada Prep and Fulfillment. And um, our website is canadaprepandfulfillment.com. Um, and uh, check it out. And, uh, you know, it's it's been a just a tremendous um, validation seeing the response from people because Canada as a country is such a wonderful market for consumer products, right? Like there's 40 million people here that can't get enough of whatever is being advertised to us because the supply is just not set here. So what's wonderful is that you have um, a population that has a good, a healthy amount of disposable income that are willing to spend it. Understanding that the products are being mainly imported into the country and therefore that means um, they expect to pay a little more. And in fact, we pay a lot more because it's just what we do, it seems. <laughs> Uh, we want the product. If we can't get it, that means, of course, we're going to be willing to pay more just to have it. Um, and so I think there's a tremendous amount of opportunity for you and your business, regardless of what marketplace that you're you're running on or what platform you're using um, or wherever you live in the world. You don't have to live in North America even to really benefit from the incredible Canada, U.S., um, freedom of trade that's happening here. Uh, so, um, I know. Okay, this just in, guys. I just, okay. I just looked at my own ticker symbol. All okay. right, I don't mean to cut you off, Pauline, but listen, guys. Pauline runs a prep third-party prep and fulfillment center. Guess what it's called? It's called Canada Prep and Fulfillment. Guess what they do? They do preparations and fulfillment. The website is Canada Prep and Fulfillment dot com. If you go there right now or any time that you want some Canadian prep and fulfillment services done, we're going to talk about what that means and how it works. Just use the code JACOB10 to save 10% off the services. And that's good right until the end of 2021. So all Q4, you can literally pay less than everybody else that's there by using the code JACOB10 and you'll save 10% off the services there. So Pauline, tell me about What's your number one most popular service that Canada Prep and Fulfillment does? I mean, hands down, um, it has been uh, FBA Prep going to Amazon. Um, Amazon.ca or Amazon.com? Both. So okay. we, support, we support import to Canada. So maybe your products are from outside Canada and you're trying to sell on Amazon.ca. Um Obviously, also, if you have a walmart.ca selling account, if you have, um, uh, you know, Canadian customers buying from your website, we handle that fulfillment. But the, truly, the number one pre-pandemic service we provided has been Amazon Canada um, shipments going to Amazon Canada FBA. Now... Um, so I'm going to lay this out for somebody. Let's say you sell online. Right now you're selling on Amazon.com. You've got a great business. You're doing like $600,000 a month on mittens or whatever you do. And you say, hey, these mittens, this year the mittens are not just going to be on Amazon.com. I want the mittens to go to, to Canada because I just heard Pauline say Canada's got more than like over 40 million people that are here available to buy stuff online. So what they can do is they can go to www.canadaprepandfulfillment.com. Um, they use the code JACOB10 to save 10% on all the services. And they can literally ship inventory 
into your service and you will put it yes. on to Amazon FBA. But not right. only that, you will help with shipping, right? That's right. So, so to uh, how will you help them to get their products into the Canadian market through Amazon.ca where they're missing out on like 40 million people that want to shop on Amazon.ca? Right. So in our experience, since we launched, we, we were four years old, uh, actually four and a half now to be exact. Uh, and so what we found years, is right? that, yeah, <laughs> to bring your products into Canada, the, the, the most expensive piece of that journey is the shipment in. And when you're, we found coming directly, say, from the United States directly through the border, uh, coming into Canada, um, the carriers, the major carriers, especially, were charging you quite a lot. So Too much. We, yeah. And then on top of that, you have the duties and taxes that is due to Canada customs and, and all of that. Um, yep. And, and you're usually <laughs> using a broker who's charging you a fee on top of that. So uh, what we implemented, and, and by the way, we have two warehouse locations, Canada Prep and Fulfillment has Toronto as well as Vancouver. Toronto is in the center of Canada, just north of New York State and Michigan State. And we also have Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, which is north of Washington State, so our West Coast. So regardless of whether your products are coming in from um, the East coast of the United States to the Midwest, or it's coming from the West coast of the United States, or it's coming from the Asia Pacific Rim, or it's coming from Europe, or it's coming from South America, wherever your product- Let's say it's coming, if it's coming from planet Earth, they've got two locations, Vancouver yes. on the West coast <laughs> and Toronto right in the middle of Canada where most people live. <laughs> so especially for, right, the stuff coming from the United States, what we right. found is so much of the volume is coming from the U.S. So what we found most economical is to establish U.S. warehouse locations where your shipments from your suppliers or from you yourself, if you're based in the United States, can come to a U.S. address just across the border from Toronto or Vancouver, right? So that shipment to that U.S. location is usually free because it's going from a U.S. source supplier to a U.S. destination. So that's usually a free shipment. So you have savings there. And then we are supporting all of the admin related to your import and the logistics to get your um, shipments from the U.S. warehouse to the T Toronto or Vancouver warehouses where we will handle your Amazon FBA prep going to Amazon Canada. What that does is you are placing orders with your suppliers or you're initiating your shipments and everything else is taken care of for you. You're not worrying about how am I clearing customs? Will it clear customs? If something goes wrong, how do I fix it? How do I resolve it? That's not your problem anymore. We are covering all of that for you. So um, they just get it close to the US, the Canadian US border. Yeah. You're gonna bring it across the border from them, do the fulfillment and prep for amazon.ca. Yes. And then you'll ship it right into Amazon FBA, right? That's right. Or so, you can probably fulfill them directly too. So if they want to do like fulfill right. by merchant, you'll yes. you'll ship stuff directly from Vancouver. either Toronto or Vancouver warehouse, right. anywhere across Canada. That's or right. if they're in Canada, they can ship it to you guys in Toronto or Vancouver, and you'll ship it out across Canada to other buyers directly right. if they want, That's or right. you'll import it into the U.S. and get them into the uh, U.S. Amazon FBA uh, warehouses, right? That's so right. like any way you go from Canada into the U.S. or from U.S. into Canada, yes. uh, Pauline Services can help you. So again, you, all you got to do is go to Canada prep and fulfillment.com use the code Jacob 10 and it'll give you 10% off all the services you can get from them. So you'll actually pay less money than everybody else. Um, yeah. and you'll get access to those services, right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't mean to cut you off. I just want to be really yeah. clear. You ship both directions yes. and you ship both Amazon FBA .canada or .ca and mm -hmm. amazon.com. Plus you also do uh, merchant fulfilled if they want to ship directly to their buyers, right? That's right. And if this is a live show, guys. So if you're watching live and you want to like say hello, let us know where you're from. 
Uh, do that now. And we have the ability to bring it up on screen. So if you have a question for Pauline, she will also answer that for you as well. So sorry to interrupt. Keep Continue That's on okay. with uh, your explanation. I just want to be really clear. You can go both directions yes. and you can do both uh, FBA and uh, FBM mm -hmm. in both Canada and the U.S. in either direction. That's right. So okay. if you if uh, when you visit the website, Canada Prep and Fulfillment dot com, once you've registered and you've confirmed your registration, um, of, of course, you get an email with a link in it. You confirm your registration on the back end. We're going to do the final approval of your registration. Um, your and customer, Maurizio, oh, Maurizio says that you're, he says that you're great. Oh, thank you. Maurizio. So, yeah. I know that you didn't pay him to say that because I we did. just spontaneously <laughs> went live. That's Listen, funny. guys, Pauline's customers think she's great, including Maurizio <laughs> Vasquez Lara. Yeah. I just Maurizio wanted to put it up there. Here in Toronto, too. <laughs> okay. And um, thanks, thanks for watching, Maurizio. <laughs> and so, um, uh, so we're doing import to Canada. We're doing ship from within Canada. We're doing export from Canada. And those are the... Uh, hyperlinks we have on our website after you've registered and you have an account on our website on the main page you're going to see those words those are hyperlinks and they will take you to our each step-by-step -step process overview that fully explains that shipment type so you'll have full information on what you will be doing and what we will be doing as part of the import process or as part of the export process, et cetera. Um, the easiest way to get started is if you're ordering from a supplier in Canada, it's coming directly to one of our Canadian warehouses and um, it, you're just hands-free. We're following the instructions that you're providing by doing your, your notification to us on our website. Uh, do you guys have a climate controlled environment? We do, yes. So, All right, so let's say somebody wants to put in an order for like 500 units of uh, five leaf chocolate from <laughs> anywhere across the world. They'd ship them directly into your warehouse, yes, right? That would be called them. online arbitrage. And then they could sell them on um, eBay or Walmart or Shopify or, you right. know, Poshmark or wherever. Right. So they so, could do that, right? Yeah. So the wonderful thing is that the fulfillment the fulfillment tool that we use is called ShipStation. You guys are all familiar with that. So our ShipStation um, software, our account, we connect to your stores. Your store may be an Amazon store, eBay store, Walmart store, Poshmark, Etsy, Shop a Shopify store, even your own custom store that you've created on your own e-commerce site, e-commerce platform. Using Shopify, of course, because Shopify is the best. Whatever, whatever. No, 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 not WooCommerce, Shopify. Okay. Yeah. Right. Or, or WooCommerce or Big Cartel or whoever else. But like, <laughs> whatever. The really, is, the correct say. answer is Shopify. Right. So whatever, whatever store you have, we can connect to it, and uh, so we will see your customer orders live, right? So as they occur, as the customer makes payment, and so the order is truly uh, an active order, it will be imported into our ship station. We will see. How it fast through. are you guys? Yeah, so we fulfill every day. So that means uh, Monday through Friday. So that means um, the orders come, there's a gap of about, about an hour from the time that the payment is done by your customer. We see it. And so we're, fu we're fulfilling those every day. We're using our um, commercial 3PL rates with Canada Post, UPS um, to uh, pick, pack, and ship your orders daily, week okay. daily. <laughs> and then we have, have the pickup directly from our warehouse by Canada Post as well as UPS and other carriers. But we find that because we have such a volume, our discounts are far beyond what you could even get yourself. Or even if you have your own small business account with Canada Post, we're beyond that. Our rates are, are lower than that um, and continue to go down because of volume. So... Um, we are fully on top of your inventory. So your inventory comes in, you have a specified um, place in our warehouse where your items are stored. Um, we are uh, keeping track of your inventory and also filling um, your orders as they happen. We then will 
uh, along with invoicing you, we will be sending you a summary of the transaction. So we help you to see where your orders are coming from in the country in one spreadsheet, as well as what are your customers paying for postage versus what you are paying for postage. So you can see the revenue that you're making on shipping. You can make decisions about how you're pricing shipping to the Canadian customer, um, and you can make adjustments as you go. Because that's really important that because Canadians- Do you have itemized, are, itemized invoicing for each order? Yes. So we, the invoice itself is, of course, a consolidated one for that time period, but we itemize the data behind it so you can see what's happening and make your decisions um, accordingly. That's amazing. Yeah. Itemized invoicing for each order. Yeah. <coughs> Go on. Yeah. So they can save money. They can ship between Canada and yes. the U.S. either direction. Yes. So if you're in the U.S., you want to list on Amazon.ca, you can help with that. If they're yeah. in Canada and they will list on Amazon.com, you can live help with that. You right. can do uh, fulfilled by merchant, meaning you'll ship directly to buyers yes. uh, through direct order integration through ShipStation. Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you'll prep and pack the entire order and get it ready for Amazon.ca in Canada yeah. or yeah. Amazon.com in the U.S. And again, they do both directions, guys. So yeah. you want to enter the Canadian market and load up Amazon.ca. You can use them. If you want to like load up Amazon.com from Canada, you can also use them. They do both directions. Yes. They do the prepping, the packing, mm -hmm. the shipping, and they give you an itemized invoice for each order. Mm -hmm. So you can actually see what the shipping cost is. You can actually like uh, something like Etsy, for example, if you're an Etsy seller, you could charge for shipping and actually make money on the shipping if you wanted, or you can give free shipping, but you know exactly what it costs for each item shipped. Yes. Right. And you get discounted shipping because you guys have um, existing commercial shipping relationships. Yes. And so they can get your rates. Yeah. yeah, they can get your discounts through um, shipping with you, which is in most cases is less expensive than they could even uh, get themselves. For Certainly sure. more, less, less expensive than Canada Post, mm -hmm. even less expensive than the Canada Post business rate because yes. you guys do volume shipping. Yes. So you get access to all their volume shipping rates automatically. You can save money on shipping, whether you're in Canada and shipping to the U.S. or whether you're a U.S.-based seller and you're shipping into Canada, correct? That's correct. And, and on top of that discount, <laughs> you can save an additional 10% <laughs> using the code 10, Jacob10. Mm -hmm. You'll save all, you get the discounted shipping rate plus 10% less than that on the services uh, by using the code Jacob10. For 10 percent off yes so it's like savings on top of savings a top of savings it's kind of right. ridiculous anyways i'm sorry to interrupt again continue for those of you that um have been using amazon fba in the states or the us another um service that we provide that um i think is i think is a very big service is the fact that we um are a destination for your amazon canada removals so if you need to remove inventory from Amazon Canada, um, you can utilize our services to be the Canadian destination address. Now, uh, we do ask that if you're doing any kind of significant removal order, you give us advance notice so that we can sign off on it and say, okay, we're going to expect to receive what will equate to about five pallets worth of stuff, right? <laughs> you can be very patient with the retail. Now, Pauline, I don't know if you know Marcia Reese. Do you know Marcia Reese? Do you know who that is? I do. All right. I was, so I was talking with Mauricio yesterday as well. Not Mauricio, Marcia Reese. Oh, Marcia. Oh, no, yeah. I don't know Marcia. I okay, don't well, this is another person watching live right now. We live guests can comment. So mm -hmm. let me give you a quick uh, quick synopsis here. Marcia Reese is literally the inventor of sidewalk chalk. She invented the product sidewalk chalk. Nice. She has sold tens of millions of dollars worth of product over more than 10 years. Thank she so literally much. had her product in the original McDonald's Happy Meal. Like the first time they had the Happy Meal, her product was in it. In there. She's watching the show live right now and oh says, great information on in an interview. Thank you both. Yeah. Marcia, we need to talk to Pauline because she <laughs> can shave you on shipping from the U.S. on your Stay Well Copper products into Canada. Or from Canada into the U.S. 
Yeah. And that includes both direct fulfillment from your existing warehouse, as well as uh, if you wanted to ship it through Amazon FBA. And the yeah. FBA can be on either Amazon.ca or Amazon.com. Both sides, she can help uh, ship product there. So yeah. shout out to Marcia Reach, who's watching live. Just wanted to make the quick introduction. You guys should definitely talk. Yeah, and thank you, Marcia, for your service to children everywhere, because my nephews and nieces, they love sidewalk chalk. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> well, you should check out what she's doing now. She has Stay Well Copper yeah. products, and they mm -hmm. offer 100% uh, made in America copper products, which are acting as like a, as um, I don't it's want to say disinfectant, but it's like a replacement for a hand sanitizer. Wow. So you have the product, you can rub it in your hands like this wow. and it will clean your products, your hands from the germs and viruses in about one minute. Wow. I'm, I'm going to go grab a piece just so you can see yeah. what it is. But um, that's what Marcia is doing that currently. Oh, She's just uh, opened up a launch on Amazon. That has to be blowing up. Yeah. So what is like your, like, just, I'm going to step away for a second. Cause I'm going to give the product to show you what it looks like, but okay. like, what is your volume capacity? Can you do a million units? Can you do like 10 million units? Talk about your ability to fulfill your orders. Well, I mean, we don't have a ceiling, right? Because it's, it's really about uh, warehouse capacity. So right now, um, anyone, Marissa will know this or anyone else, uh, that is an existing client. Um, would know that we are expanding facilities. So our Vancouver location is already um, expanded. The Toronto location is in the process. Um, we're positioning ourselves for our move because you know to move a warehouse is no small feat. Uh, so we um, just like our business, our, our clients, we're growing with you. So as the demand is has come, we continually expand. Um, we just happen to always choose to be in spaces in warehouses where we are able to just continually take more and more space. This is the new product that she's got. So it's a piece of solid copper, right? Yeah. And to use it, you go like this for a minute and it essentially takes off any viruses and germs from your fingers. Wow. It works like a hand sanitizer replacement and because it's metal, it's, it lasts forever. Yeah. So it's not like like 20,000 years from now, it'll still be available. She also has one that's like smaller like this. And okay. you can put it on the back of your cell phone. So that when you're using your cell phone, your fingers are touching that instead of the cell phone. And it disinfects your cell phone from mm -hmm. the germs and viruses while you're using it. Plus, it has like a bit of an aura effect because it's electric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the same thing. It's a little bit bigger. Um, it also can go on your cell phone or you can put it on other things. It's got like a sticky backing on it. Nice. Um, and it's called stay well copper germ stopper okay. for every situation. So, I mean, this is a flat pack item, right? How Beautiful. many of those things do you think your warehouse could hold? A lot. <laughs> Thank you. Right? It's like a postcard, right? There's two of them yes. still pretty thin, That's right? Beautiful. Uh, they Marcia, also have, I got your back. <laughs> yeah. Marcia, Pauline's going to help you out. So that's the product. It's like smaller than your finger. Yeah. That's the uh, packaging for it. Beautiful. And the germ stop roller, you could be shipping this between Canada and the US, right? Yes. Nature's hand sanitizer. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? So I mean, like, the packaging as well is that the um, the other two items, because of their sizing, uh, we yeah. may be able to get away with really um, the postage here in Canada, you know, is much usually much more expensive than the United States. Yeah, when you compare this very two, very thin packaging, like it's literally it's yeah. paper thin. It's a piece exactly. Of paper. So we would uh, potentially be able to get. Um, we'd have to look at the dimensions of it to confirm, but I think that we'd be able to bottom out the postage on that even further. Um, we have another big big uh, client that uh, we fulfill a product that we actually are able to get away with, um, sort of like the letter. Uh, letter post pricing from Canada Post. Um, it is seven inches or 18 cheaper. centimeters, 18 okay. centimeters by, okay. A little bit less than 13 centimeters or it's five. So it's a five by seven card. Right. And then the product itself, uh, the larger of the products, it's three inches 
by two inches. It's three by two. So in centimeters, that's like seven and a half centimeters by just under, well, by five centimeters, pretty much. Maybe 5.1 centimeters. Okay. Um, and then the other, the actual... Um, the larger one. box? Yeah. So the larger box, this box here, just for interest sake, is it's eight inches to the mm -hmm. top of the back and eight inches is like 20 and a half centimeters mm -hmm. and it's uh 4.25 inches wide okay. or 11 centimeters and then the depth is oh look at that bang on 20 millimeters okay. so two centimeters you got it which is like uh three quarters of an inch okay. it's right on the line because canada post i think it's 20 20 millimeters is the limit so it's right on it's right at 20 millimeter or uh mm -hmm. yeah 20 millimeters so, sorry to interrupt i just wanted to like yeah. point one that the, out because she's watching live yeah one of the benefits and this is true for everyone definitely marcia you will benefit from this because all our clients do when it comes to director to customer fulfillment one of the huge benefits about us having a footprint in Toronto as well as in Vancouver is because um, we have figured out based on the uh, Canadian customer location that certain um, orders going to certain provinces should be fulfilled out of Vancouver to bottom out the postage and Toronto should fulfill for the rest of the provinces to bottom out the, the postage pricing. So, yeah, so because you guys have multiple locations, you can take advantage of the best pricing depending on the part of the country somebody's in. Yes. So yes. if somebody like Marcia put, sends in the but, Stay Well Copper products into yes. both warehouses, then you could direct to fulfill the customers. You could basically yes. bypass the fees from Amazon FBA. Right. And because you're doing daily fulfillment, yes. um, when you ship that out to customers, it's the same day that they order it, that you receive the order through ShipStation. You could send it out, out to the customers directly, right? So there's like yeah. no waiting or shipping time. So what right. would be the cost so on something like that? Well. Yeah, what do you guys charge to fulfill something that's like a letter size, mail size type of thing? Like something like this is paper thin, right? It's going to be on like the letter mail rates probably, right? Canada Post. So how much do you guys right. charge so to like pick, pack and fulfill something like that to a customer order? Then let's say they're living in Calgary. Okay, so on our website, on the pricing page, if you scroll down to the section called Fulfillment, um, in, yeah. in, in the pricing section, the section in the pricing page called Fulfillment, you're going to see that we have, in both Canadian and U.S. pricing, we have um, a pick and pack fee, and we have an e-commerce fee. So the e-commerce fee and the pick and pack fee is really combined into one. And so what we do when we present it, we separate it so you know that this is what we're charging you for. But in U.S. terms, the published rate is $1.75 total per unit. Um, and Canadian, um, because I quote in U.S. so frequently, um, the Canadian is just like the Canadian converted amount for the same. Um, so about $1.75 U.S. and that gets it picked, packed, and shipped. And is that shipping on top of that? And shipping is on top of that. Okay, um, so shipping on something like that's going to be like less than two dollars in Canada if you're shipping it flat pack. Yeah, it's that's really right. cheap. Yeah. So your total fulfillment cost, Marcia, on the flat pack products is going to be approximately like less than three dollars. So what unit, we right? also do is that it's it's an and of course when we um, onboard you for fulfillment, we have, have a personal conversation with you, right? So to begin with, your volumes may not be very high. And so we would point you to our published rates. But as your volumes increase or if your volumes are already quite high, we are happy to uh, discuss um, volume discount related um, pricing. So um, the other uh, point to make is that um, when you are storing inventory in both of our locations, Toronto and Vancouver, it's not only about bottoming out the postage cost it's also about speed to the customer because if something is shipping from vancouver and it's going to the northwest territories it's going to get there much faster coming from vancouver than coming all the way from toronto going there like you're, right, sa right. you're saving days off the journey yeah. um, 
and um, yeah, and so we are already we already anticipated um, all of that to to help you out. Now, one of the benefits we have with our relationships with um, whether it's Canada Post, I'm going to use Canada Post as an example. Um, our rates are, of course, far more better, <laughs> far better than uh, just the average uh, Canadian getting a Canada Post account, but also. Um, our contract with, with Canada Post gives us expedited postage price, uh, service at the same price as regular standard postage. So we you say always, that again. So our rate for expedited shipping, what Canada Post defines as expedited shipping, is the same as Canada Post prices us for standard or regular service level. So we yeah, so your always, shipping rate is so low, you can basically uh, fulfill yes. at expedited rates yes. at standard shipping costs. That's right. And so right. we ship all of your stuff expedited. So your customers are getting things so quickly, they don't expect to, especially if you may have been fulfilling from the U.S. all this time. Now you switch up and your inventory is sitting in Canada and it's getting to your customers even faster oh my gosh, they're just going to order from you. Oh, I can get this in a day, two days, et cetera. So for example, if you have inventory stored in my Toronto warehouse, your customers are in the greater Toronto area or they're in the greater Montreal area or they're in some of the surrounding cities and towns in Ontario surrounding, you know, north of Toronto. Um, Pretty much where everybody lives. Exactly. Um, your stuff is getting to your customer the next day. Canada Post is really on top of it. It, sh it leaves our warehouse today. It's delivering tomorrow. That's how quickly it's happening right now. Now, into Q4, maybe you just, it'll go, it'll be another day. Maybe take two days, right? You, she's not kidding, guys. Great. Canada Post is quite fast right now. Yeah, and because they well. have a warehouse, one in Vancouver, which is the second largest metropolitan area, and yeah. one in Toronto, which is the largest metropolitan area, you can ship to most Canadians uh, with next day delivery, and you're paying no more for the shipping rates than if you sent it um, yeah. standard shipping through Canada Post. And in yeah. fact, you're probably going to pay less than that because she has a volume discount. So right. you get basically next day delivery in most cases um, for places that are near Toronto, Montreal, uh, Vancouver, um, and because you can ship from multiple locations, you're going to get super yeah. fast shipping for super low rates. Yeah. It's a good combination, guys. If you're an online seller and you can ship fast and it's less expensive, it's a good combination. Yeah. It's important that, um, I know so many of us in you know this space, we will focus on the U.S. market and um, you know we think, oh, you know, no one's going to be as good a consumer base as they are. Uh, but truly there are really great markets outside of the United States. It's just about getting the partnership and the support that you need to make it an easy expansion. And that's what really, what separates Canada Prep and Fulfillment from other prep and fulfillment services here in the country. We also are supporting the import and export and admin and logistics elements for you and we are um, ensuring you understand what's going on so that um, you are actually gaining knowledge about the Canadian market as you are utilizing us, um, especially if you are bringing products from outside the country or you're taking products from Canada going to the U.S. Pauline, let me ask you a question. A lot of U.S. sellers like to import stuff from other countries, right? For some reason, they don't like to import from Canada, but they want to import from like China or India or, or Sri Lanka or somewhere else. Anyways, let's say somebody's importing something from China. Can they not send it directly from China into your uh, uh, prep and fulfillment services? And then you'll prep and fulfill them and get them into Amazon FBA directly, correct? That's right. So we you want to have... talk about like how that works or why somebody would choose you guys over somebody else for their import partner from like a third country that's not Canada, the U.S.? Sure. So a lot of um, like my clients that are importing from China or Turkey or Australia, um, they want to be able to ship into the country um, and not worry, right? Because it gets to the port 
you're not, you don't live here. What do you know what's going on with your stuff, right? If there's a problem at that port, whether it's customs or it's someone else, you're not physically here. So you want to have boots on the ground here in Canada. Um, absolutely, if your product is coming from China, the Asia Pacific Rim, bringing it into Vancouver is cheapest, right? Right? And, and Canada Customs can be a thorn in your side, absolutely. So yeah. part of the support that we're providing, right, is your, um, let's use China imports, for example. You are working with your factory in China. Your products are coming usually via transport that you arranged with that factory because they have the transport, as in the, the, the cargo boats, the container ships, they have the best um, rates to get it across the Pacific yep. to the Vancouver port. However, you're then left wondering, okay, I need a customs broker. I need to be able to work with somebody who's going to be part of this to make sure I'm covering all my bases so my stuff is cleared before it ever hits that port. And then it's just a matter of when it's at the port, you have the, um, whether it needs to get on a train to come cross country to Canada, which I don't suggest. What I suggest is if you're bringing something into our Vancouver port, it's just a truck load to get it to our Vancouver warehouse location. And, and they you guys arrange that shipping everywhere. for them, right? As part of the shipping agreement that you can make with your customers. That's right. So, so let's say somebody wants to, yeah. let's say somebody's living in um, Phoenix, for example, right? And let's say they're importing something from China. Let's say they're importing uh, markers, right? So they're, yeah. they're importing dry erase markers and they want to import them into the U S but they don't know too much about how to shipping because it's their first product. They're launching a private label or something like that. They can ship them directly to you guys in Canada and then you'll uh, import them exactly. for them. You'll help them with the customs, clearing them from China into Canada. Yeah. And then you'll prep them, pack them and ship them from your warehouse directly into Amazon FBA in the U S correct. Exactly. So that is like a magic solution guys. Yeah. If you want to yeah. import stuff from China, send it into uh, prep and fulfillment Canada, and then they'll prep and fulfill them in Canada, your order from China, and send them directly into Amazon FBA in the US. That's like a brilliant shipping solution. This was especially pivotal when the US was at odds with China. They were in that trade war um, and it became far less hassle and less expensive to import into North America and have it coming to Canada. Then one, another aspect that um, besides the fact that we can just uh, prep and ship directly to amazon.com on your behalf, right? It's your seller account.com. Um, is also if you needed uh, to actually then send product through the US border in some sort of volume, um, it, it, it makes sense for you to have used Canada because Canada's um, trade relationship with the U.S. is, is, is much, has it's much- It's world-class, right? It's like world-class, yeah. really best friends. Yeah. Big, yeah. it's a big trade relationship. Canada is the United States' biggest trading partner. It's not China, it's Canada. And so the trade relationship has a lot of allowances built into it. For example, um, when you're exporting products from Canada to the United States, um, and many of you may know this, you may not know this, but there are allowances built in that, uh, that will waive duties and taxes on your shipments um, going from Canada to the U.S. They just have to meet certain... Well, I think, can you say that again? Can you say that website. again? Because I, I think that might have been lost on some people. Yes. So <laughs> um, U.S. Customs, there's allowances for product that you are exporting from Canada going into the United States that will allow your shipments to clear U.S. customs with duties and taxes waived. Now, that's a daily allowance per person per destination. So, for example, maybe you have an FBA uh, shipment going to Amazon.com fulfillment centers. 
the allowance is 800 US dollars per day per destination. So if, for, for example, your shipment was split to two fulfillment centers in the US, your boxes, you could literally clear the boxes that equate to 800 US dollar in value and get those across in one day and then the next day the rest are going. So it is obviously for large volume shipments, then we are talking about not being able to really navigate that efficiently. But if you have smaller volumes that you're trying to send, you definitely can waive those duties and taxes. You can load up your warehouse all year long, 800 bucks a day, and then in Q4 yeah. have it ready to go from the US or from Canada. Yeah. Like, I don't think people realize how much money they can save just by talking to you guys, right? Oh, no. And that's the thing is because a lot of times people don't know where to start. They don't know where to go. Uh, there's a lot of verbiage. There's a lot of admin or red tape. And so they're really scared. And they're thinking, okay, I don't know what to do, so I'm not going to bother. Or worse, people have attempted to ship products, say, from uh, outside Canada directly to Amazon, not knowing that there are Canada customs duties and taxes that have to be paid before it gets to Amazon. And Amazon will get it and they'll be amounts owing. Amazon will say, um, yeah, that's not our problem. And your box, your box has disappeared because Amazon is taking, de is taking delivery and the carrier left two days ago, right? By the time they're getting to the trailer, those boxes are in. So a lot of people have gotten burned or they've had very expensive carrier costs shipping directly from the US to Canada, to the Canada um, fulfillment centers. So they've been burned and they feel like it can't work. All my profits are chewed up by the shipping expense or Canada customs not realizing they haven't talked to us yet and we you know could have made it extremely profitable in certain them. some cases they yeah. waived it entirely just because you know what the process is right yeah like, you just have to you can literally waive your customs and duty charges guys if you're under a certain amount and you're working with canada prep and fulfillment.com like you guys are really good at this, right? You've been doing this for yeah. four years, almost five yeah. years. Almost five years. So you're not you're not brand new at We're this. Not novices at all. You've got multiple locations, both we in Toronto and in Vancouver. Yeah. And everybody that uses your services can save ten percent while using the code Jacob Ten. Yeah. So it's cheaper just because yeah. you're watching this live stream, or you're watching the recording, or somebody was kind enough to share this recorded video with you, or maybe you found it on YouTube. It's quite possible because we're streaming everywhere, right? Right. We have, so, um, and just Pauline, keep, keep, just keep on going because you're giving okay. us like nonstop value. Yeah. Like here's how to like literally save yeah. on customs, right? Yeah. Here's how to literally get product from China into the U S through Canada. It turns out mm -hmm. Canada is closer to a lot of the parts of the China than it is the U S right. Yeah. So your yeah. shipping cost to get into Canada is less expensive yeah. than shipping to like, I don't yeah. know, uh, San, somewhere else, somewhere else in the U S right. right. You can ship then, it to Canada and then have it fulfill through to the U S and have right. it FBA, amazon.com prep and packed on the way there. Yeah. Right. Plus I, you'll help to, to deal with the customs and the importing it into Canada. And yeah. then from Canada to the U S that's quite an easy transition, right? It is. So like, all, I don't think people realize down. how valuable your services can be to them. Yeah. And, um, I was going to point out also another reason if you are bringing product from outside of North America to a North American port, uh, I, I think many of you are probably aware of the backlog that is happening at the U.S. ports, um, whether it's, I think, L.A. or San Diego or both. Um, you have to keep in mind that that situation is probably just going to get worse, right? As we continue through this year you have to take a look at maybe things that you normally bring directly to a u.s port what is the situation at the canadian ports um look into that because maybe that will save you a lot of tears this coming q4 season right um i haven't heard about delays at the canadian ports like i've heard of the delays that are happening um you know on the u.s west coast so just a tidbit there. Um, in terms of um, 
you know, supporting your uh, your business. Canada Prep and Fulfillment, part of our philosophy, our culture, is that we position ourselves and we view ourselves as the last line of defense for your Amazon seller account. So if you are having us handle your, your Amazon Prep, uh, my team has been meticulously trained on Amazon Prep policy and other Amazon policies that affect your seller account. So I've drilled it into them. And so they're hypersensitive about that. Like um, when we're doing your prep, for example, <laughs> we are working off of like a pack list or SKU list out of your seller account. And we look at your product. And if it doesn't exactly match that listing, yeah, we're not going to just label it, poly bag it, do whatever other prep is required and send it in. No, that, you know, breaks... We're contacting you. Hey, did you realize that this doesn't match? The listing says it's 400 grams and the package we have here says 450 grams. I know that customer won't be mad about getting more, but that's not the point. The point is, it's not an exact match, right? So we're going right. to- and, um, and the opposite is true as well, right? So somebody has got an yeah. Amazon FBA listing and that ASIN says that your product weights 800 grams, right? Yes. Or two pounds but actually your product weighs less than that. You could yeah. update that and you can, you can save money on your FBA storage fees because you guys are weighing yeah. the packages accurately, right? Yeah. So and you can save Amazon you, sellers on FBA. Right. So we're sending you a summary and we're saying, Hey, um, we didn't want to hold up your entire shipment. So we pulled this particular product we've adjusted your shipping your fba shipment record in seller central so this is not going and we've sent you if you need images we're sending and we normally send you an image and say hey look at this this doesn't match so then you will reply to us and say okay i'm adding it to another shipping plan i found the correct listing for it or i've corrected the listing or whatever the solution may be we do the same thing for damages um, we tend to over prep items to make sure that your item is protected while it's in the FBA warehouse, because let's face it, you want it to get to the Amazon customer in pristine new condition as you sent it, right? So uh, you don't want it abused in the Amazon fulfillment centers. So just giving you the philosophy, our mindset is that we're here to help protect your seller account. We're not just being flippant and just thinking, oh, well, we're just doing this grunt work for you. No, it is about being partnered with you in business. Amazing. So yeah. do you guys, are, do you weigh and check the dimensions on everything? Do you have an automated process for that? Like, do you use lasers to do that? Or how does that work exactly? Um, no, for us, that that is manual. Um, like, for example, if you're, um, say you, you listed your product, but it's brand new. Um, no one has ever sold it before. It, and so the catalog is not updated. The first yep. thing that we're doing is doing that. We're weighing it, measuring it, updating um, Seller Central so that information is um, registered there. And then we could move forward so that we um, prep that and get it into Amazon. So let's say um, if I, uh, let's say I make something at home, right? And it's handmade. And I want to use you guys to fulfill my product through uh, Etsy. Okay. Um, can I ship in like a box of a hundred units of something and then you guys will ship it out to my Etsy buyers if you've integrated their Etsy account to ShipStation? Sure. Yeah, for sure. How about Walmart okay. Canada? How about uh, yeah. somebody who wants to sell on Walmart Canada? They've currently list on Amazon.ca or Amazon.com even, maybe not even .ca. And they want to start selling it on Walmart.ca yeah. or Walmart.com. You guys ship to Walmart.com? Um, uh, we don't have an existing client that does that scenario, but it's, we're positioned to do it because we have all of the logistics and all of that already ironed out. To but do you, it. you, you're fast enough that you will meet the, uh, two day shipping policy for Walmart accounts, right? Well, in, in this case, this, the service that we use would, yes. Which so, is ShipStation. So ShipStation we actually have um, another, like, so we have multiple carrier solutions that we use. Okay. Um, we're, we're about to onboard an even faster one 
that um, you fulfill. Tell us about it. What's this faster service you're going to onboard? <laughs> give away my secrets, right? Yeah, but I want to give away your secrets. I got 35,000 members that tune into these videos. They want to know secrets. Yeah. No, I, tell me the secret. I don't have to tell you my, my, the name of my partner, but. No, no, no. But like, what yeah, did I call Yeah. So the whole point is that you um, may have your inventory stored with us in one of our Canadian warehouses. And what we're doing is fulfilling those orders going to your um, U.S. based customers. So what we would have to talk about in onboarding you for that specific scenario, we want to make sure that the timelines that you're working with, uh, if it's two days that it has to get the, there. The, the requirement is sure. it has to ship within two days of the order. Oh. That, you guys so are shipping problem. every day, right? So you're yeah, like double so that. That's not a problem at all. Okay. Yeah. So you can basically ship to a Walmart uh, order from Canada, from a Canadian warehouse. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you charge cool. a lot of money to store the products? Like how, how many products could we load up into your warehouse? How's yeah. that work? So we have, uh, we do have storage, uh, fees. Uh, those are monthly fees that, um, are, we also have that on our pricing page. Um, again, as part of onboarding, if you need to store with us, then we have the, uh, a custom, of course, onboarding conversation. So we understand how much space we need. And so we can ensure that we can accommodate the, the volume that you're trying to do um, in either location. So um, it, it really is when it's about storage, we have to have the personal conversation. Uh, we don't ask that anyone ship to us unannounced because in this climate, it's not possible for us to just have things show up. Um, we've heard the nightmare stories from other uh uh, you know, colleague uh, services in the United States uh, that are also prep and fulfillment businesses where containers show up unannounced. Um, and that can work out very badly for you uh, because if we're not able to, as a courtesy, take it in, right? That means your container or your shipment, your pallets, whatever it may be, is going back to your shipper and they can charge you upwards of $100 a day storage. Right? Nick Eden so says, "Hey Jacob, so okay, Nick Eden runs a podcast. It goes out to thousands of viewers uh, hey, in this in the space of print on demand. Do you know Nick Eden? I don't. Nice to meet you, Nick. All right, check out Nick Eden. He's got a podcast. Um, I believe it's called the Fifty Forty Podcast. Fifty Four Forty. You know what, Nick? I forget the name of your podcast because you you need to make more episodes. But Nick has a podcast. You need to just type in Nick Ed Nick Eden podcast, and you will okay. see it there. Um, you may want to go on Nick's podcast and talk about uh, some of the services that you guys have. Okay. But uh, when you do, make sure they use the code Jacob Ten so that everybody that uses your services can save ten percent off at uh, Canada Prep and Fulfillment .com. Anyways, just wanted to post that, guys. It is live, so if you're watching live, feel free to make comments. You can make more than one comment if you want. Um, if you're watching the recording, now is a good time to share this video with somebody who you care about and want to save money. Uh, we were just talking about fulfillment to Walmart from Canada. So again, they've got two different locations, one in Vancouver, one in Toronto. Vancouver is right on the West Coast. You can service your customers through California and all those Western places across the U.S. seaboard. Uh, Toronto is very centralized, very close to Chicago, access to New York City, shipping across the northeastern U.S. Uh, from Toronto is very fast. Yeah. It's quite fast. Mm -hmm. So um, if you like the same day, your shipment going out the same day that the order comes in, if you like your customers to quite often get the shipment literally the day after they make the order online, you got to talk to CanadaPrepAndFulfillment.com because they're like absolutely capable yes and they can do this for you now do you have a minute can we take a look at your website is that okay would that sure. be right so people can understand how exactly would they get into um into like create an account with you guys and and Sounds just good. so they're familiar with what it is okay and it's very simple <laughs> there's no fee to uh register with us um you would just go to our website uh canada prep and fulfillment.com okay and um on the upper right hand corner there yep. is a uh, a link that says client registration you would click that 
Well, and let's not just let's... subscribe it to them. Let's show it to them. But okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the people there right now. All right. CanadaPrepFulfillment.com. Mm -hmm. Boom. Looks like that, right? Yes, that's what it looks like. It's because that's what it is. That's the site. So uh, I'm going to scroll through this and you just describe what's happening here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah, keep on, so, keep on going, Pauline. Sure. So when you come to our website, um, there's, you know, plenty of information. If you see the menu items up there, you can learn more about uh, myself and my business uh, colleague, Brandon Banks, that uh, he operates the Vancouver location because he's, he's based out there, whereas I'm here in uh, Toronto. So I and my team operate the, the Toronto location. Um, and uh, so you'll, of course, we had to include images taken of different cities in Canada, different landmarks, yeah. You can um, ship to all these places. <laughs> of course, <laughs> all, yeah. all of these beautiful places. Um, and if you don't live in Canada, you must come and visit, please do. It's, it is a lovely country. I know I'm biased. I'm gonna hijack the conversation yet again. On the are website, you? Canada Prep and Fulfillment, there are sections, home, which is obviously the front page. Yes. About us, you can learn all about Pauline. Okay, yes. she's been uh, back in since 2016. She was living abroad for 17 years. Yes. And um, <laughs> her partner, Brandon Banks, who is in British Columbia, okay? He's in Vancouver, she's in Toronto. You can read the rest by going to the website. Sure. Why us? Most businesses sidestep international expansion by being intimidated by the high cost and hassle of shipping, brokerage and custom duties and taxis. Um, truthfully though, getting your products in the market in Canada can be a daunting task. But what if somebody sued the path for you, navigated you through the complex maze? What if you had a boots on the ground in Canada to help you fulfill your e-commerce sales to your Canadian customers? What if you had access to service provider who would receive shipments from your Canadian based suppliers, prep your items and ship them within Canada or to the US. Well, you can do that through Canada Prep and Fulfillment, okay? And you can keep writing why, why us. Sure. Then there's services. So you have four main service categories. You've got yes. shipping assistance, preparation, fulfillment, and storage, right? Yes. All yes. they gotta do is they can give you a call, your phone number's right here, or they can go on and create a, uh, an, account. an account. Now, yes. how does it work? This is coming soon, but you'll be able to register for free. If you want to see the pricing, you can just click on the pricing page and you lay out exactly what the pricing is, right? Yes. So there's flat so fees in US services. dollars and Canadian dollars. Yes. This is uh, the administrative fee for an import shipment. Okay. And then so, there's... Yeah, so yeah, go ahead. If, if you'll see that um, under each of the sections, what we try to do is put the pricing together for the type of uh, uh, shipment you're doing. So... Yeah. Um, the, the first section is really focusing you in on uh, imports. So um, we're highlighting the fact that if you are uh, shipping to one of our U.S. pickup locations, so our New York pickup location that in, we do the imports to Toronto or our Washington State pickup location in the U.S. that will bring imports to Vancouver, we're, we're flat feeing all of the services. So um, there's a flat fee related to the transport, as well as since we are assisting with the customs documentation, this is what's key for these imports. Um, we're not telling you, um, you need to fill out this paperwork, right? You're not filling out the, cu the customs documentation. We do that for you. Whoa. Right? You do that All for the flat fee? Yes. So wow. we're, we're asking that um, you just have your... Um, Canada business number, which is something you get for free and very quickly. Um, if you don't already have that, um, you know, we're providing you with the form and guidance on how to fill it out. It's, there's very little you need to fill in, um, but we are guiding you with that, giving you the phone numbers to uh, where, where to fax that in, um, the phone number to call to get the number within a couple of days. And then uh, we every time you're doing an import shipment, we are filling out the customs documentation for you, right? You're just, we're just asking you to notify us via our website. There's a, a function on our website once you're registered that says start shipment. And it's literally, literally a form you fill in that gives us the data that we will need. If it's an import shipment, you're providing the data that would allow us to do your customs documentation that will be submitted to the broker. 
Um, and at that time, once you, you sent us that notification, you're done. We're handling everything else. So that's what we're describing in the shipment assistance. We talk about um, the transport fee that's associated with this import. And as you scroll further, you'll see that um, when it comes to exports in that red lettering, we're telling you, hey, for exports, you're just dealing with an export admin fee because again, we're filling out the documentation for you that will clear your shipments from Canada going into the- So you guys US. are acting as shipping broker as well? We are not the broker. We just make sure all your paperwork is done correctly so that the broker is not having to do anything extra and therefore would not be charging you more than right. they should. Okay, perfect. Right. Yeah. And then you've got the prep services themselves? Yes. And so that's the pricing that describes the tier. So um, if, for example, you initiate, maybe you initiated three different shipments this same week, we'll yep. total up the number of <clears throat> units in those group of shipments and say, okay, what's the um, price that we would charge in this tier? So we're not doing it on a, like an individual shipment basis. Our pricing is for, if you, if you did 10 shipments this week, they'd be grouped together to find where you'd fall on this pricing tier. Um, we also have a freight forwarding service. And this is where people, um, we have some clients that are, uh, doing their own prep. There are not many of people that do their own prep, especially if you're trying to scale. Um, it's not the best approach, but if you do your own prep and you uh, box up your items according to the Amazon uh, Fulfillment Center destination and you're shipping the boxes to us for us to send onwards to Amazon, then that would be the, the fee that we charge for the freight forwarding because if for example if you prepped you live in the united states you did your own prep and you're shipping those boxes to us just so that they are assured to be arriving in canada intact cleared properly we would receive uh delivery in the u.s what's the difference between freight forwarding standard and enhanced what does that mean okay so it describes it there but i'll also mention it here if we don't have to open your boxes then it's standard. So okay. we're essentially just weighing your boxes in kilograms, measuring them in centimeters, updating Seller Central, uh, printing uh, those shipping labels and putting them on your boxes for UPS to pick up that afternoon to go to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. If we, for any reason, need to open your boxes to interrogate contents. So right. maybe you have... Um, there's a problem. Maybe when we look at uh, your seller uh, central shipping record, you didn't put the expiration dates in there. That means we have to open your boxes, get the expiration dates to update that shipment record in order to properly submit this shipment to Amazon, right? So you don't get- You guys are really taking care of your whole Amazon account, like protecting you from getting all yeah. kinds of nasty yeah. bad things that could happen, right? I right. like this. Yeah. All right. So, so then you have the fulfillment service as well. We're monitoring for that as well. Like if your box is somehow <laughs> been traumatized, we're not going to just send it onwards, right? We're going to like open it and like, we've got to check if something's damaged, even though they said they already did the prep, we're going to watch for that. If the box looks like it has too much wear and tear and it's going to just fall apart, we're going to reinforce your boxes. Or in some cases, we'll just rebox the whole thing just to save you the hassle because you guys must get a good deal on boxes, Pauline. Uh, we do, but um, it's also part of like it's just our philosophy as well, right? I know. Um, I was just trying to be. I was just yeah. trying to be silly. But you guys probably do get a really good deal on boxes, right? We do, but we're also also very concerned about the that your stuff is going into Amazon pristine, right? So we're gonna do our best to cover you if you if a, if a carrier really wears out your boxes, um, that's not your fault. The carrier did that. But if we see it and do nothing, what does that say about us as your business partner, right? So that's so why- So let's say I wanna import like an entire container box from yeah. India and it's full of uh, tea, because it's coming from India and I like to import tea. Okay. Uh, I can import a whole 40 foot container of individual tea boxes 
and you'll <coughs> well normally provide pallet pallet services right so if you shipping container yeah. so we have fees for unloading the <laughs> container right okay if your stuff comes um because we did this just recently we have a client that imports from turkey they send a 40 foot container full of products that you can imagine come from turkey right no i don't have to name like it. uh like are they like turkish delights uh, it's not food oh so, okay. um <laughs> maybe a, maybe leather belts yeah getting Some kind of leather product warmer um yeah. so um yeah so we you know received that container of course we helped with the import process right um, so by the time um, that shipment, because it was coming from Turkey, it came across the Atlantic, actually, and came to the port of Montreal. And so then right. it took a truck journey from the Montreal port coming to Toronto. So when it- Why didn't they ship it all the way to Toronto? Why they why they take it off of Montreal? Um, I think that was the most economical means um, for them to get it here. That seems kind of uh, weird because I mean the water goes from the Toronto whole planet to like Toronto, yeah. right? It has a Toronto yeah. port. It's funny because this is he's done multiple um, imports like this, and in all times it's come to the Montreal port. People love the Montreal port for some reason. It must be yeah. like extra cheap or something. I don't know what the deal is. I, I think okay, that anyways, because the land journey is so it's so easy between Montreal and Toronto. Anyway, even though it's time, still yeah. it's a well traveled route. Um, yeah, absolutely. It's the yeah. four hundred one, right? Yeah. Straight. It's All right. So you guys got lovely. fulfillment services, yeah. shipping container, pallet services, yes. uh, storage yes. services. Service well. All the fees are plainly laid out on their website under prices. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have a blog, which is coming soon. You have yeah. uh, frequently asked questions, which people can go on and find out what the question is. Like, yeah. what if I'm unable to send email? Well, yeah. just give us a call, right? What if I forget mm -hmm. my log information? Great. Give us a call. We'll figure mm -hmm. this out, right? Yes. Since you guys are very hands-on and personal, there's a contact yeah. us information where somebody can like select their pricing, technical issue or other, and then they can put in the subject line, name, telephone number, um, how did they hear about you? And then whatever the comment is, submit that. That goes to you and your partner, right? Yeah, so it, it, it comes to, uh, so I have um, admin support that is monitoring all of that communication. Your and staff. So my staff. And so, they will, <laughs> and so they will and so they will um uh field your questions reply to you um if it's um a uh, an issue that uh needs to be you know escalated like maybe your question is really in need of more like a um a one-on-one -on -one session yeah then i think some people don't realize just how dense uh canadian cities are this is like <laughs> gives you an idea of how dense <laughs> Toronto or yeah. Montreal or Vancouver is, right? Like yeah. they're really packed. They're real big cities, super urban. Yeah. Very concentrated Canadians living in cities. It's for real. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. you've got yeah. your address yeah. and your contact information page as well. So yeah. you guys are right in Toronto itself. So it's not yeah. like uh, Brampton and around Toronto or something like nope. that. It, we're in and Toronto, then, Toronto. Yeah. And then and Chilliwack is like basically right in the Vancouver area. So yeah, it's, it's like, just a suburb. Yeah. It's like a suburb of Vancouver. Uh, you've got a toll free number so people can call you for free. And then you've got your direct number here as well. So people yes. can contact you and they can send you emails. Yes. Um, oh, by the again, way, when you do register as part of the registration, when you um, register with us, it's going to send an email to your email address that you provided with a link for you to verify your registration. Once yeah. you've done that, you're going to be prompted with an opportunity to schedule a 15 minute. Um, sort of onboarding uh, a session with either myself or with Brandon Banks, who is our my colleague that runs the Vancouver location. Yeah. So um, you won't just be like registered and then you have no one to talk to. We do offer that, that session so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one, um, yeah. and we get a, a good idea of what uh, your needs are and we iron out next steps so that you are on your way. Um, right. You're not just floating out here, not sure what to do next. Um, please, I know that what always happens is because I'm a lot of times the face of Canada Prep and Fulfillment. I'm the one that does the webinars and, and the presentations. And so everyone wants to schedule with me. But if my uh, calendar looks you know, pretty booked, um, please feel free to also um, 
schedule Brandon. He knows just as much as I do. And because he's also based out there in the West Coast, if you have a lot of that China import stuff happening or you're from the uh, more U.S. West Coast or you would be definitely leveraging the Vancouver location, he's definitely the person you'd want to speak to. Um, and, and, and so, yeah, please feel free to um, to make use of that 15 minute session, which never seems to be just 15 minutes. That's that's how long it takes to register, guys. Yeah. You put in your name, your company, your uh, contact information, your email address, you set up a login information, and congratulations, you successfully submitted your registration. Before you can access your account, you need to confirm your email, look for a registration verification in your box. Uh, it's just that easy, guys. Yeah. I'm going to do that privately, but... Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, then you schedule, your, you schedule your session. Because uh, And the right. links will be right there for you to schedule it, so... It's instantaneous. I have a real link right in my thing. Please confirm the link. I clicked on it. It says, uh, congratulations, you have submitted your registration. Your username is now active. So I've got an account with uh, Canada Prep and Fulfillment myself. I just registered it. Um, but you guys have been around for a lot longer than that. You guys know what you're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody wants to contact you and they do have questions, you've got your phone number all over the place there, your email address, <laughs> you've got a contact form. Yes. Um, Pauline, what are some like uh, final thoughts that uh, you would like to share with uh, people? Okay. One of the things that I always say um, and in my presentation. Bonus tips. Sure. At the Ecom uh, Q4 Summit um, in my presentation to them, I, I did mention this, and this is hands down. A, a lot of, especially if you're an FBA seller on Amazon FBA, you've probably spent all of your time on the U.S. marketplace, right? So you're on Amazon.com, but what you've probably been doing is that you've been sourcing your products from the same places, whether it's um, retail arbitrage, physical brick and mortar, it's online arbitrage, online retail websites, or it's um, even wholesalers you're sourcing your products from the same place that everyone else is. And then you're selling those products on the same marketplace everyone else is, and that being amazon.com. And so my challenge um, in my presentation, and I always say to anyone I speak to is, you need to change that up because that has driven down pricing because there's so much competition on .com, price wars happen that drive the price down. When right, Next door to the United States is another marketplace so similar in in composition. And um, and a Canada is a little bit more urban than the U.S. I don't think they yeah, realize that, but sure. Canadians are actually more urban than Americans. It's amazing, yeah, yeah. we live in cities. Wow. Yeah, and also, right? One of the benefits, of, uh, I think, it is a strong benefit to Canada is that it's even more culturally diverse than the united states a lot of people don't well, realize quite a lot that. more yeah, yeah toronto is like the most culturally diverse city in the Absolutely. planet right hands down yeah there are people here that you're like we're on earth like you didn't even know the country <laughs> existed and they're here right um yeah. the wonderful thing about that for your business is that there are products that all of these people are introducing to the rest of the population so it's food it's it's items it's it's clothing. It's and and the Canada is very unique, right? Like we 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 really throw ourselves into all the other cultures and and heritage. Canada is around us. multicultural, and a lot of people will move yeah. to Canada and they'll introduce yeah. new products and services to people yeah. in their home yes. country. Like yeah. most Canadians are within the first uh, first generation, second generation, maybe third generation. Canadians are very, very uh, global. They're not a melting pot, but they're a global no, mosaic, group, multicultural. Yeah, it's a mosaic. We don't just culturally as a country. We don't want you to abandon your heritage and have a Canadian identity. That's not the way we roll. We want you to come with it, share it with us, and we are accessing it too. So what that means for you as a business person, your products or other products, if you're selling third party, right? You're selling other people's products. 
Um, I use the example. We have a healthy uh, Central American, South American population here, for example. Think about how far those people are away from Central American, South America. So uh, they want the foods, the dry goods, the clothing, the product, whatever it is that they were used to getting very easily in their home countries, or even in the United States, they could easily access those things. In Canada, they can't. So they're willing to pay way more to get those products as long as they're supplied. Well, guess what? Um, most of those things are not heavily supplied. They sell out if they ever came into the country at all. Send your stuff to amazon.ca. Yeah. Send your stuff here. So even if it's amazon.ca or if you expand and you're on walmart.ca, if you have um, your own um, e-com store where you're selling a lot of different brands or, or whatever you may be doing, um, it's not just, say, the people from Central America or South America that will be consuming that. The rest of us that are not from those parts of the world, we're consuming it too because someone introduced us to it. That's just the way it is here. So um, we think that- A lot of product discovery on Amazon. Yeah, so we think there should be a significant size population um, for the good we're talking about. So if it was like- um, a Mexican product, we think there has to be a huge Mexican population for that to work. No, no, no. The Mexican population that's here in Canada has indoctrinated the rest of us non-Mexicans to their products. So we're all looking for it too. So that's yeah. one of the benefits of tapping into the Canadian market is that you're not just targeting if a small group of people. It is the whole country, truly. Yeah. Okay, well, Pauline, you've offered tremendous value. Uh, it's been incredible talking with you. I've, I've learned a lot of things myself, and I've been selling awesome. for uh, more than 22 years online, and I'm still learning every day. And I learned a lot of yeah. stuff just by talking to you today, so I appreciate it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do what's called a review. So have you ever seen yeah. any of my live streams before? I have not, but I uh, noticed that you've done a great job of Actually, as we're going over a topic, you're actually putting a, a, a banner up for it. So excellent. You bet. So I'm going <laughs> to, excuse me. <laughs> We've been talking for, we, before we did the live stream, we had like a <laughs> two and a half hour conversation. So we've been talking for like three and a half hours or something like that. Anyways, uh, let's do a quick review. Um, if you're not familiar with the review, here it is. Ready? Awesome. I'm ready. All right. We talked about Canada Prep and Fulfillment. We talked about CanadaPrepAndFulfillment.com being the website. You can use code JACOB10 to save 10% off services at CanadaPrepAndFulfillment.com. Now, you can use them for FBA prep uh, into and out of Canada, both on Amazon.ca and .com. They have two locations, one in Vancouver, one in Toronto. Uh, you can use the address from near Canada to get into Toronto or Vancouver, so either from New York or from Washington State. We talked about that. You can import and or export between Canada and or the U.S. using your services. Uh, you work with ShipStation for omni-channel development, or sorry, omni-channel distribution, and uh, you guys are so fast. In fact, you pick and pack and ship daily, so every single day. When you use your services, you get access to their shipping rates, which are so low, and they'll even give you an itemized invoice for each order. You can ship between AmazonFBA.com or .ca, and you can submit uh, directly to customers and the fulfillment services um, using you guys. Yes. So your pricing as well includes uh, fulfillment, pick and pack, and mm -hmm. e-commerce pricing. Mm -hmm. We talked about that. There's personal uh, conversations for customers and volume discounts. You don't even have to spell volume right. You can still get a volume <laughs> discount with you guys. Uh, there's multiple <laughs> locations for shipping, which gives you faster shipping. We talked about that. Super fast shipping for your multi-city shipping. In fact, from Toronto to nearby places like Montreal, which is only a few hours away, uh, you can expect next day delivery for orders that come in one day, delivered the next day. It's that fast. Uh, this Q4, you can dominate your deliveries. You can be faster and cheaper. You could even import from China into Canada and then from Canada to the US. So if you want to bring your product from China to Canada to FBAAmazon.com, 
You can do that using your services. Uh, America's largest volume trading partner is guess what? It's Canada. It's not China. Yes. It's Canada. Uh, some U.S. customs from Canada can be waived and the duties yeah. can be waived from customs mm -hmm. uh, on amounts that are less than $800 per day per shipment uh, to a destination. So Canada Prep and Fulfillment will help you with customs clearing. They'll help to figure that out for you guys. Um, they offer worldwide shipments to Canada through uh, Canadian ports, right? So you can import something directly into the port of Vancouver or through the port of uh, Montreal or through the port of Toronto or uh, any also, uh, Halifax has recently taken container ships. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So you can mm -hmm. import into Halifax and then take it by rail over to Toronto and uh, they'll help to import things from anywhere in the world. But the point here is we talked about how you can bypass some of the bottlenecks mm -hmm. from San Diego or from the LA port or from New York port or other American ports that are all gummed up because Canadian ports are not gummed up. We mm -hmm. have great ports. Uh, you can have last line of defense, your Amazon, uh, account through their prep policy. They're very lovingly know what the policies are and fight for you that way, um, by doing things correctly. Yes. Um, There's you have <laughs> product checks for weights and dimensions. So if you're mislabeled or by accidentally labeled your product weight and dimension, you might be able to save money by having it accurately measured. Um, you can protect your seller account by partnering with you guys. And fulfillment to Walmart from Canada, you can do that. You can also fulfill to Wal walmart.ca. It's also yes. uh, many people shop there, and you can um, send your orders uh, through to the Canadian you, customer, through Pauline yeah. as well. Yep. Um, you can import into Canada, and you can export to the U.S., and you can do the opposite, right? You can import yes. into the U.S. and export to Canada if you want. Like, you guys do both directions. Yes. Uh, again, this was the review. I really appreciate having you on the show. I You're thank welcome. you for uh, the services that you have. If people miss this, it's been streaming like pretty much the whole show. You can use the code Jacob10. Okay, when you create your account, just put in Jacob10 and you'll save 10% on your services with uh, Canada Prep and Fulfillment.com. All right, thanks for uh, watching the show live. We're going to end it here. Uh, Pauline, stay on the line here with me and I'm going to chat with you about something real quick after, Sounds but, uh, good. thanks for everybody who's watching. And, uh, now is definitely kind of like the last chance you would have for me to remind you to click the like, share, we do the emojis, uh, emojis, uh, make comments, right? Um, share this with your friends, with your people that you know, that are wanting to save money on shipping or on fulfillment services or on importing or on getting onto Amazon, FBA.ca, uh, or .com from anywhere in the world. Um, if you want to import from China and like get it into the U S through Canada it might be faster and cheaper than doing it directly to the U S which is ironic, but Canada is really, really good trading partner with the U S and we've got a great service here through the Canada prep and fulfillment.com. So thanks again for having, uh, okay. yourself on my show. Uh, okay. do you have any other, <laughs> any other okay. final, final bonus tips? get started uh, you don't have to be afraid of expanding internationally start with canada help yourself by using us <laughs> to do that and um you will not regret uh expanding your business because absolutely you need to tap into more marketplaces you have a product to offer offer it all right guys let the canadians help you get your shit done online <laughs> Uh, we'll see you guys later, and don't forget to share this. It's okay to say shit if you're getting stuff done. Get your shit done. Let the Canadians help you. Pauline's here to help you. Her company is uh, CanadaPrepAndFulfillment.com. And again, for goodness sakes, make sure you use the code JACOB10 because you're going to save yourself 10% off your services. In addition to all the money you're going to save using the services anyways, you'll save another 10% on top of that. And that code is good until the end of... 2021. And if we'll see you guys shipping, later. And if you're selling on Amazon.com, uh, be prepared for your .ca business to outstrip your .com business. Don't be surprised. It will happen. You Higher can profit. sell more on Amazon.ca than you yeah. can on Amazon.com because yeah. there's 40 million people that are dying for yeah. products in Canada. And we shop online a lot. Yep. Plus your profits will be much bigger. So you don't even have to sell even as much to make way more in profit. Make more money. Yes. All right.
Pauline, we got to stop giving them value because yeah. it, they've been okay. listening for an hour and a half and too much yeah. value. Yeah. People's heads explode. So right. <laughs> um, if you want to, if you want more value, just rewind and watch the replay. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Take care. Thanks.